what is up my crazy subscribers this is joking john 64 and today we're going to be talking about metal gear solid phantom pain and also about mad max both release dates were revealed on the same day kind of interesting by the way uh, another thing i wanted to talk about will be five nights at freddy's 3 that was released earlier this week very interesting very different compared to the other two games that were released in the first place it's pretty cool though so might as well search on youtube i'll talk about it later on in the video before we get into more details guys i would like to show you what i've been showing in midnight blue because resident evil Revelations part two is pretty awesome i, I recommend the game i, I want to I wanna do a review on it and i'll do it soon so check it out I'll show you a clip right now so you guys can see what's up There's going to be more, I have a feeling, man. I saw one right now. Moving on to the first topic, Mad Max, Middle Gear, Solid Phantom Pain. Both release dates were revealed, and they were to be September the 1st, 2015. Both games will come out in the same date. Kind of, kind of weird, because... You know, different companies, different developers, but they're both coming on the same day. So apparently there's, there's going to be some kind of competition. But I'm going to go with Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. Because let me tell you guys why. I have played every single Metal Gear game. And I'm telling you, it's awesome. The story mode is just unique. It's rich. It's new. And compared to any other game out there, this thing is just the king of all stories, man. I just want to know what the hell happened with Snake and, you know, why didn't he die and who's the new characters, who's the new bosses. I want to know everything about this game, man. And, and me playing this Middle Gear 2 is just want me to know more about this character. So, um, and by the way, I never played the first one, but I played the second one. The second one was on the on the tankers, you know. We, we were in the middle, of, the middle of the ocean fighting uh, Dracula or some bullshit. Like, it, it's kind of weird with Fat Man also. Fat Man was also in that game. So kind of cool i like the series and all so i can't wait for september the first i'm gonna pre-order the game right now pay my full money like front load and um get it over with because i really want to get that game i'm 100 percent sure sure that uh, i will do a let's play on it so subscribe to midnight blue if you guys want to see some let's play on metal gear on september the first go because it's gonna go down man i like stealthy games like that also spinner so uh, moving on to the next topic and also mad max september the first i really don't have any details on it so I guess this is a good game. I heard it was from a movie, so I got to do a little bit of more research on that game. Um, moving on to the next topic, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 was released earlier this week. And I did see some gameplay and from a guy named Nate. He has like around 30,000 subscribers. Um, the gameplay is quite different from the first two. It's not the same thing. And let me tell you guys why. The way you have to do things there is just pretty weird. Also, night number one is the easiest one to go through. You don't have to do anything. It's just sitting there flipping through the camera so nothing special on night one what not even you know what don't even bother have night one at all if there's nothing gonna happen so super easy but when it comes down to night two night three you sometimes get a jump scare but you don't die it's kind of interesting so it's it's very different compared to the other two the first two seem kind of babyish like it's child play and the third one seems like okay this is the real deal this is like the scarier one uh when i saw the gameplay i was kind of you know kind of jumpy <laughs> so it's because everything's new and you know we feel all like the same way when we see the first time of those kinds of games but uh but overall the third one is pretty cool just i recommend to, recommend to watch it from any other youtuber i don't i'm not gonna do it because um i cannot record off my pc i wish i can have a better pc though so i can record but the junk i have that, that was recommended by staples that allows me to live stream supposedly doesn't fucking work fucking staples man I'm, pissed. I'm still pissed off at that. I'm not, I'm not gonna shop a freaking computer out of there, man. So, anyways, um, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Check it out on YouTube. Pretty cool stuff. You guys want to buy it on Steam? I'll probably do a giveaway at some point, but I don't know when. So, that's it, guys. Those are my topics uh, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain and also uh, Mad Max. You know, full September 1st. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, check it out. And an extra thing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Call of Duty Events Warfare will be start. They're gonna start selling supply drops in a in a month. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the next update. Seriously, like you're gonna start selling supply drops? Yeah, something we can earn for free. Like, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be idiots out there that's gonna buy those things. 
So that's the extra bonus news right here. So, so that is it, guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more gaming news, and also subscribe to the Midnight Blue. If you guys want to keep on seeing the Resident Evil Revelations 2 story because it's awesome. It's more better than any other Resident Evil play gameplay I've done. So, yeah, but it's not better than Resident Evil 4. So, subscribe to it. If you guys want to see more of that, subscribe to this channel. If you guys want to see more gaming news for now until March 17. So, see you guys there.